Well, it's here, it's creepy, it performs miracles, and many people even say that it's biblical. In fact, dozens of people have already had this thing implanted into their brains. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about this new technology uh, that has hit the market within the last couple of years in which they claim through brain implants they can cure and fix things like blindness and paralysis. Never mind the fact, however, that this is eerily similar to something spoken of in Bible prophecy, and that is the mark of the beast. I've got so much to get into with you guys today, and you're going to be floored by the way that this thing is already out in the open and what is going on with the people who have tried it. But as a quick reminder, check out my sponsor, Noble Gold Investments, by going to lisahavengold.com. If you have not protected your investments, then now is already the time to do that. In fact, you're really pushing at the end of the envelope here. You need to give them a call. Let them know you learned, you heard it on Lisa Haven and just talk to one of their experts about how you can diversify your profile, get a 401k or better yet, get an IRA backed by gold, silver and precious metals. Fill out this information and click that get it now button and, and they'll go ahead and send you the ultimate gold and silver investment guide for free. Want more information? Click the more button or click the description box below. All right, so let's dive into the latest information on this brain leakage, brain leakage technology uh, that's happening right now out of Utah. Take a look at where I found it, and this is on the dailymail.co.uk. This Utah biotech company has implanted brain chips in 50 people and its owner wants to cure blindness, paralysis, and depression. Depression is the scary part there, but I'll get into that in a moment. But it says, it sounds like the stuff of science fiction, but a company in Utah has already implanted brain chips in dozens of patients. Black Rock Neurotech, based in Salt Lake City, has the grand ambition of curing physical paralysis, blindness, deafness, and even depression. It goes on, quote, we are the only company with direct brain BCI implants in humans. Marcus Gearhart, BlackRock's co-founder, told DailyMail.com. Our implantable arrays have enabled people to connect directly to computers, to control robotic arms and wheelchairs, play video games, and even regain sensation with just their brain signals. BlackRock's technology uses an implantable microchip that has 96 arrays, small needle-shaped brain chips that can read and simulate electrical signals. It can be placed anywhere on the brain's surface. Multiple devices can be placed on the same person's brain. After implantation, the chip detects electrical signals generated by the wearer's thoughts, just the very things that they think it goes on. The device has been implanted in patients for a combined 80 years without any reports of serious adverse effects. However, the device does have some pitfalls. The arrays on the implant slowly break down over time, causing its signal quality to degrade around two to three years. The device will usually need to be removed at around five years, requiring another surgery to take it out and then replace it. Now it goes on to detail this as well. The sky's the limit for what BCI will be able to do in the future. Mr. Garhart believes that the technology could be used in the near future to deal with everything from restoring lost memory to PTSD to depression. Depression. Think about that kind of of technology and the power, or shall I say, the potential for misuse and this kind of neuro linking, if you will. And speaking of brain technology, we also know that this is uh, something that Elon Musk has been highly involved in. Take a look at theguardian.com. Elon Musk brain chip from Neuralink lines up clinical trials in humans. And we also know that the FDA put their stamp of denial on Elon Musk just this past March. FDA rejected Musk's bid to test brain chip implants in humans report says, and that is on Forbes.com. So no approval for Elon Musk, but hey, Utah over there. But either way, I really want to get into the potential dangers 
of this kind of technology. We have people out there saying, oh, we're doing this in the name of, you know, curing, and that's a very bland word, blindness, paralysis, depression, these kinds of things. Uh, and, and I wouldn't say that that's actually what happens cure-wise, but I don't know. This is fairly new technology. And while it sounds beautiful on the surface, right? We can help those who are, who, who's got, who have been paralyzed. And by the way, in case you guys don't know, my father was paralyzed for about a good year as a child. He had some very major back issues growing up. So I know a lot of what that looks like. Right, I would have loved at that time for my dad to have been able to move. In fact, they said that he would never be able to move again. But I think God worked in his life and he is now walking alive and moving around today. But either way, I understand there's a lot of people out there who maybe don't want to be blind, obviously, or don't want to be paralyzed or want ways to fix that. It's amazing, right? However, what is the cost for this kind of of technology an implant in your brain that they say can connect to the internet and cure things like depression ptsd or aid it in in some way that's a pretty bold claim to make for starters and i'm not saying it would cure anything at all but if you think about when they put that in your brain right to help with depression or fix depression or whatever their claim is how exactly are they helping it are they manipulating the way that you think to make you happier? Is I mean, I mean, really, I would like to know how exactly this little chip is going to go about doing that. Because, hey, who's to stop them from using this tech type of technology, you know, on those pesky little conservatives and MAGA supporters who love freedom? Let's just get them chipped to make them think in a whole new direction. Does that technology have that potential? And I can't help but shake the fact that it absolutely does. In fact, it's biblical. In the book of Revelation, chapter 13, it talks about a little thing called the mark of the beast that will be given power to speak, right? Take a look here. Uh, And this is interesting. Here it is. And it's talking about uh, the false prophet and the Antichrist. And it says, and he, false prophet, Antichrist, had the power to give life unto the image of the beast. This is just an image of some sort, right? And the image of the beast beast should both speak and cause as many as would not worship the image of the beast to be killed. If you don't worship this thing, you're dead. You're dead, right? And he causes all, small and great, rich and poor, uh, free and bond to receive a mark on their right hand or their foreheads. And that no man can buy or sell without it unless he has the mark or the name of the beast and the number of his name. In other words, if you don't have this little chip implant put in through your forehead, wait, that sounds a lot like this brain link technology. And no, I, this is not something I support. I support free speech, by the way. When Elon Musk is standing up for free speech, I support that. But it, with these brain chips, <laughs> no, I don't support that. But think about that. Brain chips in your forehead, brain chip technology, or in your hand, your right hand, right? And this If you don't have this, you can't buy, sell, or trade. And a lot of people speculate, a lot of um, biblical scholars out there say, well, what would keep someone from just removing this chip, you know, to say, get back into heaven? Because those who have this chip also are marked, if you will, by the Antichrist, by the false prophet for Satan. That's what this is talking about in that scripture. And it's saying those aren't, those aren't people that are going to enter heaven. And so a lot of uh, biblical scholars speculate that people will be unable to take these chips out, or maybe those chips that are implanted will convince those people never to take it out. And this kind of technology exists today, already active in about 50 some odd people who are doing some kind of trials, I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe there's more to the story. 
But it's downright chilling when you know Bible prophecy and you know what's going on. Of course, I want paralysis uh, to, to get better. I, I, I want, you know, things like, uh, you know, people who are blind to be able to see again. Nothing wrong with that. But who's to say this technology will not very easily be corrupted? And as history shows, 100% of the time, that is what happens. Think of the nuclear bomb. How did we get there? Look now how many countries have it. Look at, the, look at the atrocities that we've already experienced in history's past all throughout time. And look right now at our United States government who are trying to silence and shut down forever anyone who is speaking truth that they don't want you to hear. In fact, if you really, really want to know what's going on, get to RestrictedRepublic.com right now. Use the coupon code LISA5 to get it for $5 a month. And by the way, I'm going to be putting out an exclusive big report today on Jeffrey Epstein, you know, the guy that did not kill himself. Well, there's more to the story concerning, well, some new information that has just surfaced. If you want to get my assessment on that, get to RestrictedRepublic.com and check it out today. Anyhow, please leave your comments, your thoughts and concerns. Please make sure you're still subscribed to my channel here on YouTube. They have been unsubbing people in mass, unfortunately. And uh, thank you guys again uh, for following me here on YouTube. I really appreciate and love every single one of you. I'm Lisa Haven signing out.